Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Cece and Cece Reads. Hey y'all, we are on episode 8, Genesis 8. Okay, but before we get started into Genesis 8, just want to go over just a few things from Genesis 7. I know there was a lot of devastation last go round. Yeah, but as well, it was also about a starting over. Okay, and I had to share it because it's part of the Bible. And every now and then we all need a fresh start. And it's okay to start over. All right? Just make sure you get it done. Okay? This go round, we are talking about episode 8, Genesis 8. We're talking about the flood and the waters are going down. Oh, and as well, Noah is offering a sacrifice to God. So that's where we're going to get started there. Okay, Genesis 8. Then God turned his attention to Noah and all the wild animals and farm animals with him on the ship. God caused the wind to blow and the flood waters began to go down. The underground springs were shut off. The windows of heaven closed and the rain quit. Inch by inch, the waters lowered. After 150 days, the worst was over. Okay. On the 17th day of the seventh month, the ship landed on the Ararat mountain range. The water kept going down until the 10th month. On the first day of the 10th month, the tops of the mountains came into view. After 40 days, Noah opened the window that he had built into the ship. Okay. He sent out a raven. It flew back and forth, waiting for the flood waters to dry up. Okay. Then he sent a dove to check on the flood conditions, but it couldn't even find a place to perch Water still covered the earth. Noah reached out and caught it and brought it back into the ship. Okay, Noah. He waited seven more days and sent out the dove again. It came back in the evening with a freshly picked olive leaf in its beak. Noah knew that the flood was about finished. So he waited another seven days and sent the dove out a third time. This time, it didn't even come back. Mm -hmm. So, in the 601st year of Noah's life, on the first day of the first month, the flood had dried up. Noah opened the hatch of the ship and saw ground, dry ground. Okay. So, by the 27th day of the second month, the earth was completely dry. Okay. God spoke to Noah. Okay. Leave the ship, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives, and take all the animals with you, the whole deal. Birds, mammals, crawling creatures, all swarming extravagance of life so that they can reproduce and flourish on the earth. Noah disembarked with his sons and wife and sons' wives. Then all the animals crawling creatures, birds, every creature on the, face, on the face of the earth left the ship family by family. Noah built an altar to God. He selected clean animals and birds from every species and offered them as burnt offerings on the altar. God smelled this sweet fragrance and thought to himself, I'll never again curse the ground because of people. I know they have this bent toward evil, even from an early age, but I'll never again kill off everything living as I've just done. So for as long as earth lasts, planting and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never stop. Whew, that's a good word, God. Okay. Okay. That covers that chapter. Okay, family. Oh, that's right. Please 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please share it with at least one person, y'all, because you never know who may actually need it. Okay, know that I'm thinking of you. I'm praying for you. You're in my thoughts and prayers very, very often. And y'all have a great day. Talk at you soon. Bye.